mankind I'm a young man um, uh, someone would call me a writer others would call me an agriculturalist I'm a student I'm actually going to school out here in Liberia uh, I'm a veteran I served in the US military uh, I mean I I'm a lot of things judge me not for these eyes they have seen beautiful monstrous wondrous things have I inspired you well, <laughs> no. To be honest, yes, my brother has inspired me. He showed me many of his pieces, you know. I've communed with unholies and angels alike. A quagmire of sorrow and boastful delight. Now this trek I've endeavored bore holes in these shoes. I've acquired some trinkets and many a clue. You know, it feels different when you're able to put down your thoughts and your feelings and emotions on a sheet of paper and look at it and analyze it from a, you know, from a different perspective. When it's internal, it feels different. It's like a release. I think everyone should practice writing in some way, shape, or form. Okay, this is actually something that I, that I wrote recently. Um, it, it's about being human. Uh, it's called human beings. It's about how each of us individually go through trials and tribulations and you know we all internalize what we go through and to us to each of us we feel like you know our world <laughs> is the most like dramatic world at times it could be the worst thing going on um, and I think sometimes we fail to realize that everybody is going through the one reality so it's about it's kind of like my external interpretation of my reality I battled with beasts and with demons I've do. Been drunk with buffoonery, boiled them by fools. I've stumbled through minefields and I've lost in my mind, awakened in the arms of lovers divine. I've embezzled the knowledge of scholars galore. I, did a, I do a lot of reading, I read a lot. I read everything, articles, books, and um, I also re watch a lot of like uh, documentaries and it was a certain period in time in my life when I was just receiving a lot of information and you know, that was my outlet, writing. So as much as I was taking in, I was putting out just as much. William Talbert, you know the name Talbert uh, reminds me of a name that I've heard so many times before, maybe a president or something. Yeah, who was he to you? <laughs> Yeah, well, the late William Richard Tolbert was my grandfather. Okay, all right, so now that we've cleared that out, now we can talk to you. <laughs> when, did you when did you move back to Liberia? Uh, it's, been, it's been about two and a half years now. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, finding your way here today to the set was a problem. Oh, so, uh, what's, what's up? I mean, you're not, I mean, how are you getting around the city? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was saying the same thing, like, I've been everywhere but here, this one road. Okay. Okay, all right. Well, you found yourself here. Uh, it took him about two hours. Ever. And he was right in the vicinity. <laughs> but it's all good. You know, we greeted him with some water. I, I'm terrible with directions. I'll be the first to say it. I'm horrible with directions. Okay, yes. But you are good with words yes. on paper. I'm all right with all right. words. So we'll focus yes. on what you're good at today okay. and not, you know, you know what you're bad at. <laughs> so writing, how long have you been doing that? Oh, man. Um, the first actual piece that I sat down and wrote I was 10 years old. Um, I've been writing forever, for ages. I write better than I talk. Okay. So it's one of those things, you know. Everyone has their thing, that's my, that's my thing. All right, so, Will, how do you find that you're received here, you know, being a writer here versus being a writer abroad? Well, I definitely feel like there aren't as many outlets here currently, but what I've noticed within the last year or so that there, are, there have been a lot of avenues opened up recently by people like yourself. Uh, you. A lot of people who, who um, you know, are establishing the artistry here. And I noticed that, I feel like there is an emergence of arts in Liberia right now, musically, the film, um, you know, uh, writers, poets. So I feel like there's definitely like a movement going on right now. The energy is really good. 
and I'm happy to be here right now at this time. Thank you f so much for just taking this time to come and be on uh, Liberia Travel and Entertainment Network. Thank you. Thank you for creating this avenue for, you know, people like myself to come on and express themselves. What's going on, everybody? This is Will Talbert, and I'm here at LTE Networks, the best network in LIB. Make sure you like the Facebook page, go subscribe to the YouTube, keep tuning in for great news and entertainment. And, oh, the link is right here. Don't leave, look at the link, like this link before you leave here, you hear me? Yeah? Okay, be there.